Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating and submitting a purchase order to a vendor, you will either receive the inventory parts you ordered along with a bill for those parts, or you will receive the inventory ordered while the bill for the inventory arrives separately. In QuickBooks, you must receive the inventory ordered to sell the inventory. However, you must enter the bill when it is actually received for accounting purposes, especially if using accrual accounting methods. In the following lessons, you will examine how to enter inventory when it is received along with a bill, as well as how to receive inventory without a bill and create an item receipt that you can match to the bill when the bill finally arrives. If you receive inventory items from a purchase order along with a bill for those inventory items, you simply enter the items into inventory and also enter the bill for those items into QuickBooks. You can receive items into inventory and enter the bill for those items by selecting Vendors from the menu bar and then choosing Receive Items and Enter Bill. In the Enter Bills window that appears, select the vendor from whom you are receiving the items from the Vendor drop-down. If the vendor you select is one with whom you have open purchase orders, an Open POs Exist message box will appear to inform you of that fact. Click the Yes button within the message box to display the Open Purchase Orders window. Click to place a check mark into the leftmost column of the row that contains the purchase order for the inventory you received. Then click the OK button to return to the Enter Bills window. The items from the selected purchase order will appear on the Items tab at the bottom of the Enter Bills window. Ensure that the quantities that you ordered are correctly shown. If not, you can change the quantities shown if needed. Be sure to enter the correct date the bill was received into the Date field within the Enter Bills window. Also check the other bill information, such as the Terms and Bill Due Date. Enter the number assigned to the bill by the vendor into the Reference Number field. After you have finished entering the bill, click the Save and Close button to finish. After you've entered the inventory items and the bill, QuickBooks will move the items into inventory and create a bill for you to pay. Make sure you record the inventory when it arrives because QuickBooks must have the inventory on hand before you can enter a sale for the inventory parts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.